as we're recording this, it's National IPA Day. It is as National IPA Day. people are IPA watching day. this in video form, if you're here with us live, which you should be on, uh, on Thursday nights when we're on twitch.tv slash about beverages, then it actually is National IPA Day. But if you're watching the recorded version of this, then, well, that day has passed. Yes. But Unless you... it's been a year. No, oh, kidding. my gosh. That's very true, though. If it was, if it was a year from this <laughs> date, watching this which date year, is this? We should say the date. The date is August 1st, 2019. In the year 2000. In the year 2000. Uh, right. Yeah, it is National IPA Day. And coincidentally, walking in the door on Wednesday, as we usually have our late discussions of what we're going to yes. podcast on on Thursday, you looked me in the eye through your text. And said, and said, we could do this. We could do this. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, I was very excited because it's a brewery that I used to like quite a bit, still yeah. like, have just not had a lot of other things from them besides their kind of bigger barrel age things. Yes. Um, so yeah, I'm very, ex- well too. I'm very excited uh, to have this IPA for this. Give it a shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we are about beverages.com. And the beverage that we are about today is the slightly exaggerated IPA from Deschutes Brewery out of Bend, Oregon. Patronus! The Patrona, yeah, see, there we go. That's what right we were talking there. about. Patronus. That looks like a, well, I shouldn't point right there. Let's point over here. <laughs> yes. That looks a bit Harry Potter people. <laughs> I thought so. A little Patronus yes. thing going on there. I th- no, I thought that immediately. As soon as I found the graphic, I was like, and yep. I, yeah, I didn't, uh, I, it might be on the bottle there. I just, I did not notice that. Uh, but uh, follower, listener, coworker, Jake, he said it'd be funny if, because it's slightly exaggerated, he thought it'd be funny if like the alcohol percent said like 18. You know? <laughs> that would you know, be they, pretty they good. All this, he's like, they probably can't do that because of labeling restrictions right. even in fun and jest but i said they could have in the description put that you know somehow they could have worded it but that would have been funny but uh but yes slightly exaggerated so exactly where that name comes from we're not a hundred percent sure i'm not sure because it's six percent uh abv so it's yeah. not like you know racing up the charts there uh the only thing that's slightly exaggerated is it seems like they went for a little bit more of uh push on some of the fruit notes in the ipa from what they've said Tropically and then some kinda, interesting uh yeah. coconut they yeah. mentioned so i don't know if that's just gonna be naturally from the malts or what because they do not say what hops they used in it you might be able to find that if you do let us know in the comments below be more than happy to always learn a little bit more about what we're about to have um so yeah let's go ahead and have and you probably i'll tell you after we well after we try it price wise you probably have an approximate idea what 8.99 this costs, but do you want to know or do you want me to i was just guessing save it and did i was i right save it 8.99 or 9.99 Neither of those guesses is correct. Wow, seven ninety nine. Do you really want to? Know? <laughs> yes, that's correct. Okay. <laughs> Do you really? seven ninety nine? Okay, I thought so. I, I didn't mean, want it to influence your opinion. It wouldn't influence. Well, I it guess could. it. I suppose. <laughs> okay. I wanted to shock you with it later. Either yeah, that's seven ninety nine, or <laughs> wow, that's seven ninety nine. Wow, that's seven ninety nine. Seven ninety nine. Wow, that Joker. Yeah, <laughs> love that Joker. What are you the, getting? The old onion ring. Oh, are you getting some onion ring yeah, out of that? Okay, definitely. it's funny. The thing that hit me first was like was actually like lighter like fruit, and then a little and then a little bit malt base under that. But I mean, I can kind of see what you're saying. I'm tired of arguing with you about and it, so I'm just going to give it to you. That. Every Whatever time it now. is, I, that's not a negative <laughs> thing. It's not like I'm saying rancid I, pine nuts. It's so funny. I <laughs> assume anytime you say that that you don't like it. No, I like that. I, that's I think interesting. I, that's I I need to interpret that differently. Like it's funny is every yeah, time you've said that I'm always rancid. like, well, geez, you didn't. Yeah, no, like no, I don't. That's that's just what I'm always surprised. Ooh, by that's that. that good old sweaty sock. Yeah. That's <laughs> Ooh, rancid nuts. Yes, that's what. Oh, that's what I'm. Really, no, I like that. That's actually my new uh, punk album that just came out, Rancid Nuts. It's uh, debuting on iTunes and uh, Spotify. But then as that goes, as that loses its, I guess peak, it becomes more of a funk almost. Hmm. There's a little bit of that, not not funkiness, but there's a little something. Um, I like the aroma actually a lot. Yeah, I like I am, it. I am I getting, you know, honestly, I am getting some of those other things you said. For me, the first note that came through, I was surprised that it was more of that fruit, not quite tropical fruit to me. It was like a little bit more of, um, like I said, a little peach, like stone fruit kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and then, like I said, but I am actually getting some of that other stuff though too. Like I said, the the malts in there definitely have some sort of, like I said. I, I, for me, it's not quite onion, onion ring, but it's like there's a baked, fried character yeah, or something that's, going on there. Th- I guess that's what I'm going for is the coating. Yeah. The, yeah. Okay. Not necessarily the onion part, right. but it's the, the the breaded deliciousness, the oh. deep fried breaded right. deliciousness. Should we try this breaded deliciousness? We should. <laughs> we should. We should. There's not a lot. It, it gets uh, less exaggerated. 
Yes. Uh, and the taste, it, the body is very thin. It's slightly unexaggerated. Yeah. I would have to slightly exaggerate to say <laughs> that's what they're going for. Would you say you're disappointed? Would you say you're a little disappointed or what are you thinking? I, uh, not to the Kevin Klein extent. Okay, you're not that upset. No, I'm not okay. because I, I, yeah, taking all uh, taking everything into consideration, I wasn't expecting to be, you know, blown away. Right. Um, but you definitely are not saying that it's really good. Correct. Okay. So somewhere in between Kevin really, Klein and Tim yes, Kirchin yes. is where is we where fall. The on this tier. Lies. <laughs> is where the answer lies. That's where the truth lies. Yeah. The the body to me was a little on the. Re- refreshingly lighter side, right? Which was which I was fine with, uh, and then I j- just a lot of what I got in the aroma didn't really seem to transfer the taste. Like I said, I right. got a little bit of that fruit still in there. Um, I get honeydew melon. That's the melon I get. Is the, oh, interesting. The, the, uh, okay, the, that's that little bit of fruit that I think I am getting is is that it's not a cantaloupe. It's not a watermelon. It's that, that's... and even because and honeydew is not to me one of your more exciting melons. It's uh, this is it's true. fine. It's it's yeah. It's refreshing. It's it, it's so maybe that is why I'm picking up on that. It's because it it's refreshing. It's filling. It's but <laughs> it's not necessarily a guy gets hungry. A guy eats. A guy eats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever that. It's funny. Whatever that is, and I would. Li- this is when we need a a you know someone who really knows their beer stuff to tell me what that is that I perceive as deep fried battered goodness. All right. Should we call Eric right now? That's that's what we need. Should we call head of brewing at Dragoon? This would be uh, 10 years ago, Eric (laughs) Green helping us out. Yeah. Because he would. He's probably sleeping right now. (laughs) Sleeping next to a big vat of beer. (laughs) Yeah. It's very refreshing. It is. Well, it's not a junior mint. It's not a junior mint, no. But I mean, yeah, for eight bucks for a six pack. This is this to me. This would be like a the crowd pleasing party beer IPA to some extent. Um, yeah, I would agree. It's it's a milder. Uh-huh. Uh, it's not gonna. I don't think it's gonna people who are like, oh, I don't like the hoppy stuff. Right. I don't think it's gonna be that. People who do like the hoppy stuff, or as long as you're going in, you're like, you you've kind of been tempered somewhat. Either right. By your your own expectations, right. or by somebody telling you, hey, you know what. It's, it's, Tempered expectations. Tempered IPA. expectations. Yeah. Tempered expectations. That's what they should have called. This. That's what they should have called. This not slightly exaggerated. It's not slightly tempered exaggerated. Tempered expectations. It's, it's slightly. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully I'm not slightly exaggerating in my review of this. I don't think so. I think it's. Uh, no, I, I, no, I. No, I honestly, I think you're nailing it. Like I said, I wouldn't even thought about the honeydew, but that's actually a really good descriptor of of the flavor that's in here. Um, and and yeah, I think it is good on national okay, IPA. Coconut. What's that? Okay, I coconut. wanted coconut too. That's yeah. a. Con- I like coconut. Yeah. Um. Especially like toasted coconut. Sometimes you maybe feel there like is a like a natural coconut in there. Like if if it had a little more sweetness, maybe I could give it like oh, it's like a natural. Yeah. Untoasted, but I'm not even quite getting that either. Um. Oh. But yeah, National IPA Day. Like I think, um, I could see where if you're looking for something that hits the broad spectrum of everyone that might like an IPA as opposed to just you know some giant. You know, uh, where you know the Waldos like triple IPA that maybe you right. or I might like or something like that. Like I think this could be that kind of a crowd pleaser. But Gateway IPA is what they should have called this. That's not bad either, <laughs> because Oregon being like the gateway, come see us because this is uh, it was in collaboration with Travel Oregon, so that must be yeah. their tourist board. Um, I initially looked it up, and thought, is this a brewery? But it's not. <laughs> Travel Oregon. It is Travel Oregon. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't think it was Travel Oregon. That oh, that'd okay. have been bad too. So anyway. What do you think overall? I think I think it's I I, I like it. Okay. In in a in a certain setting, I guess it's not like I'm going to go out and. Well, I'll probably leave you with a couple, and I'll take a couple. Okay. Was that because I did buy the six pack since it was eight bucks? So, um, and it's not like I'm saying, do you want this? Or I'm yeah. No, I uh, no, I will. I will, I will yeah, drink these. Yeah. There, it's it would be a a good starter, a good. Warm weather, a good something like that. Pool? It's a, it's a table setter. Barbecue. I'm grilling right now. I'm having my yes, first beer that as, sort I'm, of as I'm getting the grill going. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I find I find we come up with these descriptors, and I want to buy less of these types of very specific niche things. Yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> well, because we can, we spend we can a lot find of... the niche where it works, but it's like... I'm probably not going to buy it for that. Right, niche. and that's the, and that's the thing. But I it, but I do think if that is a niche you want, <laughs> because well because it it fits in a very specific slot or a very specific category, to right. for me like I said I agree or like I said this would be a good one uh, for, to recommend to people 
you know, oh, you don't like it, but okay, you you want to try an IPA, but you just not super hot. Okay, try, yeah. I would I would say try. If this. You like some, or you kind of like pale ales. So you yeah, might and want we to know it's fresh. And uh, that's the thing. This was oh just yeah, we didn't mention bottled, that. Uh, uh, literally a week ago. Yeah, twenty four. Uh, well, no, eight days. The twenty fourth. This could so, not have. Yeah, almost could not have been more fresh. Yeah, it, that's it's pretty darn fresh. So it's not like we're dr- you know drinking it past its prime or anything like that. So no, but you, but for people like us, we need. And our, we want beers that are going to fit in more than one slot. Right. Yeah, I can start out with that. I could. I can end with that. I can. Right. Have, I could have a couple of. But this, yeah, yeah, this to me is a little bit just too, too niche for for where I'm at with my. So different price point and different style of beer. This or the Enter Night Pilsner. Because they are kind of similar niches. I would. Pick that one's more expensive. The, but you know what? Because I don't drink a lot of pilsners, I think I'd probably pick that one right now. Because yeah. it's because it it's different, yeah. Enough, but yet still as much enough flavor. It is a little bit. It's more money. Yeah. That this is you know this is what dollar thirty something a bottle. And that one's two. That one's was it two or three? I thought it was like it was cheaper than I thought it was. It was like that's two right. or two and a half. Yeah, that's true. Like that. It was only like two, two, two and a half something. Maybe. Yeah. So oh. no. So I would, and it's also sixteen ounces. So I would buy Ooh, that. Fair point. I would buy that just because it's it's so much different than. Yeah. Than what just I just thinking about drink. things that went that niche. Like I said, but, obviously they're not the same, same style. Don't yeah. start hitting us in the comments. Yeah, like I, I yeah. brought it up just because I was thinking about similar. Yeah, no, and because those are the those exact are same kind of points. wheelhouses as, the, as of things. Yeah. Um. So those are no, those are good things to to talk about with your other, yeah. and and that could also depend on your mood. But but the, essentially, it's at the beginning of a drinking arc. session or arc. arc. It's beginning yeah. of an arc. Or it's it's in a in in, a, in an arc based in a hot area. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's actually even uh, hot more weather true. area too. So, uh, but yeah. also other good things to discuss. Uh, we'd like to discuss with you our uh, our website aboutbeverages.com. That is a place where you can go and find more videos like this. Uh, and uh, enjoy all the other things that we have to offer there. It's got all the links to social media stuff and and a whole lot of whole lot of things. Whole lot of or YouTube. Whole lot of love. YouTube Wait, is no. excellent. You can subscribe there as well. That's and right. I did I did gloss over the uh, social media things because I always kind of forget what they are. But but Keith always remembers what they are, and I, I always appreciate that he is able with our big three pillars that we uh, all like to do. And Facebook, I always forget them. Facebook is a good one. Instagram yeah. and Twitter. Twitter. The Those Twitter. are the big three. Twitter yes. probably being the the biggest the one. biggest yes. one that we do. Like I said, if you want to know when we're going live. Uh, when we're doing other broadcasts, when podcasts are going up, all that kind of when stuff. When Andrew's going to be gaming, what yeah. he's going to be doing when he needs your help <laughs> as he's doing his destiny raids or whatever, entering into look, this or that. or oh, Yes. Look at this guy with all the terms leveling he's up, throwing up. Leveling up, I know. Who are you? Yeah. Where did you come from? <laughs> Bring back my brother. Well, I hear enough. Of, I read these. I hear enough. <laughs> I hear, you know, certain things as uh, as pocket plays. <laughs> gotcha. She's always looking for a spatula in her game. I don't know why she needs a spatula. Dad, I don't know what that is. She wants to get the spatula. What does that mean? I don't know. That's a League of Legends thing that I am not a, aware of. There's a spatula and it's needed. Because she's going to flip someone off? Which like, I, I don't know. I guess. It's out of anger. I need the spatula. They're either so low or she needs a spatula. That so is, that yes. is an interesting one right there. Yeah, I, I like that. Yeah. Uh, and the place where you can find us doing all that live stuff, whether it's gaming or us recording our podcasts and things, is twitch.tv slash about beverages on when? Most Thursday nights. Most Thursday nights, about 6.30-ish. Yes. Depends on the time of year. Yes, I think going forward, I'm going to be, I should be okay getting out. Of all right. Time, so, yeah. And hopefully, uh, like I said, if you're watching this actually on the, the live stream, uh, hopefully next week, maybe we'll get in some gameplay. Yeah, let's shoot for that. Let's shoot for that because uh, we also have an expensive bottle of wine. Teaser. Oh yeah, let's do that. No, we'll that'll do that. okay. So that'll we be know a good that. plan for next week. Yeah. But uh, as we always say, whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot.